Hello, this is Leilani Roberts, and this is my experience abroad in Peru. Before traveling abroad, we spent the spring semester learning about the areas that are being affected by climate change the most, how these areas are responding to these effects, and how these areas can strengthen their resilience to reduce impact with the focus on Andean Peru. The trip itself consisted of learning in numerous ways the impact that the people's relationship to the land can have on cultures and livelihoods along with a few hikes and some breathtaking scenery. Something that surprised me was how little Spanish I needed to get by. I knew there would be translators to get the information across, however, I was not expecting the number of invitations to practice my own Spanish. The citizens of Peru were non-judgmental and willing to work with beginner Spanish speakers, because they wanted to understand what we had to say as much as we wanted to be able to say it. One difference between the U.S. and the areas of Peru I got to see was that the U.S. builds around nature, while Peru builds with nature. The United States sections off small reserves and builds atop the majority of wildlife, while many Peruvians cherish their natural land and pay respects to it. This may be a difference in sheer population size and development stages, but it makes for an immense difference in attitudes towards the environment. Another difference I observed was the citizens' relationship with food, particularly those at Parque de la Papa. Parque de la Papa is comprised of six communities of indigenous people who collectively self-govern and cultivate a wide variety of potatoes for both food and income. Here, all of their meals are grown in the park, and we got the chance to harvest potatoes to enjoy as a snack, as well as eat numerous meals at the park. This clearly differs from the United States, where the food presented at the grocery store can be from anywhere in the world, and where we consume without directly putting in the work to obtain the food, we're acknowledging the role that Mother Nature plays in providing all of our food. Peruvian people deeply appreciate Mother Nature because they must work with nature in order to efficiently produce crops. This connection is absent in the United States, which is a reason why protecting the environment is not a large concern in the U.S. Because we do not feel a deep connection with nature, I was, however, happy to enjoy locally sourced food during this trip, and because of this, I am more willing to go the extra step to be more conscious of where my food comes from in the future. When I'm at home, I feel as if there's always something that I should be doing, such as finishing my next assignment, or hemming that skirt, or redecorating my room. However, this study abroad experience was truly the perfect end of the semester. The work was done during the semester, so all I needed to have prepared was an open mind. All I had to do was show up to breakfast ready to go, and I would be guided through a full and enriching day through Peru, and I'm so grateful for that. The challenge was hiking in altitude, but I could have prevented that with cardio before the trip. It was difficult to imagine how the two weeks abroad with people I barely knew would go. I was expecting a transformation in the relationships among one another, however I was not quite sure how this would look. In the end, we all had a genuine concern about one another, checking in with each other often and holding respect and understanding that we will all be impacted by what we experience in different ways. Of course, I'll miss every one of my trip mates, the conversations we had, and the experiences we shared. I'll cherish the short amount of time we got to know the kind, knowledgeable people of Peru and all of the lessons they have taught that I will keep for the rest of my life. Lastly, I'd like to thank the Honors College for making this profound experience possible. Thank you for listening.